Hello and welcome to Hop on Pop Culture, usually with Tree and Stump. The show where we dissect movies, music, fashion, television, and the people responsible on this very table. I'm your host, Ashley Dion. My co-host, Colleen Hudson, is embracing absenteeism this weekend. So I'm coming to you solo with my review of Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Maybe you can't go to the movies with me, but I figure that through this review, you can experience just a little taste of what happiness might be like. Kieran Culkin told me, he told me personally, that this movie would be like having my ass kicked by awesomeness. Kieran, that was a little bit of an overstatement. I'd say this movie was more like being slapped in the face by awesomeness. Pro, Aubrey Plaza. Con, not enough Aubrey Plaza. Bro, this movie, the people behind it, had the ability to make Allison Pill look like an unattractive ginger, and it baffled me. Con, in this movie, Allison Pill looks like an unattractive ginger. What's that about? Bro, there is a tiny Asian drummer who is now my new personal hero. Pro. Wanting to sleep with Chris Evans and Brandon Routh more than I already do. Con. Wanting to sleep with Chris Evans and Brandon Routh more than I already do. Pro. Funny comic book labeling. Particularly the sound effects. Con. The introductory character labeling at the beginning was a little much. I was bored of it after a few minutes. It was like people then places, then things, and it's too much labeling of nouns in general. I just got sick of it. Really took me out of the movie, I would say. Which, <laughs> not that this is a movie that you're going to you know, sit down and say, I'm not going to suspend disbelief at all, but I think you could catch my drift if you actually saw it. Pro, very unique in every sense. Visually interesting. Pro, Anna Kendrick, and a very gay Kieran Culkin. Pro, fashion. Two leather jackets in this movie made me flip my lid. One worn by Ramona, cut off about here. It was like if Chun-Li were in a biker gang, and I was freaking out about it. The second one, worn by Envy slash Natalie, it was black and white and it was wonderful. It, she had a white striped shirt on too and I just, I was in love with that jacket. I wanted to be in there and take it for my own. Pro, Sex Babam is a wonderful name for a band, especially given all of the references to video games in this movie. And Sex Babam was actually a pretty sweet band. So in general, I enjoyed this film. I enjoyed it a lot. But I will say that it wasn't perfect, as you can tell by my cons. So I will give Scott Pilgrim four Grape Dum Dum Pops out of five. And coming from me, that means a lot. So see Scott Pilgrim vs. the World before it leaves theaters. I highly recommend it. This has been Hop on Pop Culture. Ashley Dion, out.